Simpson. Today's question is from Blaine. He says, for directors of choirs over 50 kids, we've grown to the point where we've outgrown my current model for auditions. Just curious how some of the bigger groups handle it. I had 40 kids show up to audition today and it was crazy. Good problem, just need, need some ideas. And that was on uh, Christy Simpson's Epic Kids Choir Forum. A bunch of people weighed in and I thought I would respond here. Some of the ideas that people had were um, to only let older kids audition. So a lot of them said grades one through six or one through five, everybody can try out for a solo or dance, but only fourth and fifth graders or fifth and sixth graders could uh, try it for drama parts, which um, is a good idea. I would not go so far to do that, but I do like to um, put age limits on some of the roles so you don't have a first grader trying out for the big older lead character. So for me, when I write it down, I usually say these roles are for four through six. These roles anybody can try out for. And it does kind of lower it down so you have your littler kids trying out for lines that are maybe you know, one line, two lines, three lines, something like that. Um, a lot of people said that they have kids memorize a certain two lines, three lines beforehand, and then they can set them up with other kids. So if you say, the person trying out for this, write down who you are, people trying out for this part, write down who you are, then you can pair them up uh, beforehand or even in the actual audition and you can try two people out at once or in little scenes. All of that does take preparation. So sometimes I do it and then if I'm running behind, sometimes I don't. I just recently started having people sign up for audition times, which I didn't used to do. Uh, and that's nice just because you only have um, one kid or two kids at a time. It's easier for my brain to process, but it takes longer. Next week I'm gonna have auditions and I signed them up in five minute slots and they come in privately. Now, one of the uh, downsides in doing that is if you do it in an open room, people can see what a great job people do. Parents can see what a maybe not as good job their child did. So there's not so much questioning after you give out the parts. For me, that's not been a problem, but for a lot of people it does help to have parents watch the auditions and that has happened to me in the past. And then they can kind of get a clearer picture of how well their kid did or who did an amazing job. Uh, some people do that. Uh, I try out solos during choir. I do this mainly so I can get kids that may have been too scared to come at a separate audition time, but since they're already there in choir, I try to discover little bits of talent of kids that maybe are too shy to do it, but I wanna give them a chance to have a solo. Definitely, you can also have them pick their favorite part and say, this is my favorite part, I'm trying out for this one part, but I'd also like you to consider me for this, 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 and this. And usually you can get a sense um, for if a kid is gonna do a great job at something. And, and I would just say, pick the one that you're really great at. If it has an accent or if it has something crazy about it, pick that one. And then we will consider you for the other parts, the minor parts, stuff like that. Oh, the funny one that I like is someone said that they have, they give the kids a phone number and they um, try it for solos on the answering machine. They say their name, the solo, and then they sing it and leave the message. And then the director can listen to them later. <laughs> I just thought that was super, super funny. I don't do that, but I appreciate it. And I do do that actually if there's, uh, if somebody's got some kind of conflict where they absolutely cannot be there or they're really, really sick, I do have them send me a video, preferably the day of, so I still consider them with everybody else. Otherwise, I'm gonna cast it without even thinking about that. So hopefully these ideas have helped you, Blaine, and um, keep the questions coming or uh, visit me at Christy Simpson's Epic Kids Choir Forum on Facebook.